Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's tip of the day is mask mode keyboard shortcuts. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so for this example, I have a simple setup, just a text layer and then this circular shape layer in the background. So I'm going to select this text, ukramedia.com, and then I'm going to click on this rectangular tool and then draw a mask over the whole text like so. And as soon as I let go, you can see here's my mask over here. It's been created and so on. So now I'm going to hit G to bring up the pen tool and draw another mask. And as soon as I click on my canvas here, you can see that the second mask has been created. And now I can draw another shape. But the problem is we don't have this mode option available. And the reason why, because our mask is not closed. So you have to make sure that your mask is closed in order for this to work. So now it is closed. And, you know, you can shuffle through subtract. Uh, intersect and so on. But now we don't have to go here to do that. We can actually shuffle through these using keyboard shortcuts. And by the way, the easiest way to remember the shortcuts for these, uh, all you have to do is just remember the first letter of each word. So for, for none, it'll be letter N. For add, it'll be A. For subtract, it'll be S and so on. But the only dilemma we get into is with these two words because obviously both of them start with the letter D. And so for darken, it's actually D. And for difference, it'll be F. So that, that's uh, how you remember that. And then you can just select this mask here and then go shuffle through your keyboard shortcuts. It doesn't work like that. You have to be in what I call drawing mode or active mode, whatever you want to call it. But you just click on the vertice or on the mask and then click, left click, and then hold. You know, Obviously now you can move it around. And as you are in that mode, now you can shuffle through these shortcuts. So for example, for add, it'll be A. And as I'm doing that, by the way, you can see it right here. So for add is A, and then for subtract is S, for intersect is I, for lighten is L, for darken is D, and then for difference is F. And for none, it's letter N. That's one way to do it. You can also just isolate, you know, one vertice. As you're moving it around, you can shuffle through the whole thing again, uh, and so on. But uh, you can also do the same thing for a feather tool. So if you hit G again, you can bring up the feather tool or you can go in here and select it there. And so now if you click on the mask and just pull out and hold, make sure you hold your mouse. Now, as you can see, I'm creating feather around the edges. Now I can shuffle through those same shortcuts again. So A for, sub uh, for add, S for subtract and so on. All right. Thank you so much for watching this tip of the day. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to watch another one tomorrow. But if you are watching this in the future, head on over to ukramedia.com tips. But until next time, my name is Sergei Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.